so you're in. Well, I wish you success then, and be careful whatever you do. Oh, and one more thing. I don't care who you are up there and with whom you work. Here below, you're only one of us, a thief. No more and no less. Can you teach me something? I can't teach you anything. You already know everything about picking locks. Now you only need to improve your dexterity. Listen, you can't be serious, can you? You're bagging our gold. You're trying to steal from us. Don't get all worked up over a couple of coins. I mean, this bit of stuff here, is that all of your booty? That's all the Thieves' Guild of Corinus has to offer? Who says our booty is stored down here? I couldn't quite believe that either. So where did you hide your treasures? In a very safe place. I see. All right. You can keep the gold, but I'll keep an eye on you, so don't overdo it. There you are at last. I've been waiting here for hours. Just a moment. You're not a merchant from town, are you? Where is Baltram? Who are you? I don't see how that's any of your business. But if you must know, my name is Skip. Does that ring a bell? Who? Are you telling me you've never heard of Skip? Holy shit! Where do you live? I'm one of Corinus' most wanted criminals. Me and my boys have been the scourge of the waters around this crummy island for years. Come on, you must have heard of me. Should I know you? 
Mind that mouth of yours, lad. Or old Skip will give you what for. Valtram, you're waiting for a merchant? Smart kid, aren't you? That's what I just said, isn't it? Uh, that good-for-nothing junk merchant seems to have forgotten me. If only I could get my hands on him. Where do you come from? You want to know where our hideout is? If I tell you that, I might as well invite the militia to arrest me. And, in case you would like to pay us a visit, uh, it wouldn't help you in the least. The island of Corinus is large, and no one ever gets to where we are anyway. Unless they have a cog or some other ship. And then you'd have to find your way through the cliffs as well. Nobody gets through there, unless they know the secret path. There are only two people who know the path, and you're not one of them. A lot of citizens are missing, and everything seems to indicate that you're not quite innocent in the matter. Uh, damn it. It's not what you think it is. Do I look like a slave trader to you? No, I only transport goods. What they are, and where they come from, is no concern of mine. We have shipped all kinds of things for those swine. First, it was just regular stuff. Well, sometimes it may have been contraband. But then they started to kidnap the inhabitants of the city. No idea what they're planning to do with them. All we did was ferry them across. Who are you talking about? The bandits, of course. Who else? The filthy scum who are making themselves at home all over the island. And not just here, around Corinus. Just bandits isn't good enough for me. I want a name. A name? You want to know who's leading the bandits? Damn it! What was that bastard's name again? Hmm. I just can't recall his name. Even if it wasn't all that complicated. But I can show you where to find the boss of the gang in this part of Corinus. Have you got a decent map? Here, I've got a map of Corinus. That's good. Let me draw in the hideout of this fellow. I remember his name now. Dexter. Yes, I think they called him Dexter. Here's your map. Where did you take those people? I already told you. I'm not going to tell you where our bay is. Hey. Hey, you! I wouldn't have done that. There's nothing you can do about it. Some problems solve themselves. He never would have thought of that himself. You don't have to ask me that. Where 
have you been gadding about for so long? I need more skins. Did you bring any? I think this bow belongs to you. My bow? Where did you find it? In a dark hole full of rats. I hope you didn't get into trouble. No, I've done this kind of thing before. <laughs> Thank you anyway. I owe you for this. Show me your wares. I've got your silver. Really? Here, take this as a reward. A very special beer. This is my last keg. Show me your wares. Business with pirates? What? Who told you that? I talked to one of them. He seems to be waiting for you in his bay. What can you do? These are hard times. Everybody has to look after his own. Someone's got to do the work. Weren't you afraid of getting caught? That could happen. You found out too, didn't you? But you'll keep your mouth shut, right? What do you know about the pirates? They live in a remote part of the island of Corinus. It can only be reached with a cog or some other ship, as far as I know. The citizens of Corinus fear them, quite rightly so, for they're nothing but a bunch of nasty cutthroats. Still, if you ask me, they're nowhere near as bad as the past. What is it you're trading? I mostly supply them with food, and for that, they give me the finest rum that's to be had in Corinus. I could take care of this deal for you. That would be great. I cannot leave Corinus at the moment. Here, take this package and tell Skip not to be so stingy with the rum this time. It should be at least three bottles. That's not what I heard. That was all I wanted to know. These are bad times. He had a better shot. Due to the general situation, the forest and wilderness near the city are to be avoided for your own protection. Furthermore, any contact with the rebelling peasantry in the surrounding areas is strictly... I've got a package for you, from Baltram. What? He's sending me an errand boy? Scared shitless, is he? Oh well, what can you expect from such a puny penny pincher? He says he wants three bottles of your rum in return. Ha <laughs> ha, wouldn't he like that? First he makes me wait forever, doesn't even show up in person. Then he has the nerve to make demands. Here, 
Give him two bottles. That's enough for him. Hey, you! I've got Constantino's ring. Congratulations. You passed your initiation test. Now you're truly one of us. Take this key. It opens the door to the hotel. Then you won't have to swim every time. Furthermore, you should know that we have a secret sign, a particular nod. Exactly. When you talk to the right people and make this sign, they'll know you're one of us. So where are you hiding your loot? Come on, you didn't really think I would tell you that. You'll have enough opportunity to get your hands on some loot of your own. Remember, those who are too greedy end up with nothing. Have you got a job for me? Yes, there is a matching set of chalices, six of them. King Robar once captured them during a campaign, but he sacrificed many men so he could get them. That's why they're called the blood chalices. Each of the chalices by itself is not all that valuable but the six of them all together are worth a tidy sum. Where are these chalices? They're here in town. They belong to the rich merchants in the upper quarter. Bring them to me. In the meantime, I'll try to find a buyer for them. What's in it for me? Either half the profit, or you get to pick a special item from my booty. I want to become more dexterous. Customer, what can I do for you? Look at you. Where do you come from, huh? Uh, I... <laughs> I know. You don't have to tell me. I know everything. Just don't even think of stealing anything here, got it? We can't afford drawing attention to the hotel. I got the rum from Skip, but he gave me no more than two bottles. Damn expensive, that. Who does he think he is? Well, give it here, then. I can't give you much for it now. This here's gotta be enough. I don't believe that. 